My name is Sam Abbott. I'm CEO and co-founder of Savage Race. My name is Lloyd Parker, and I'm Chief Operating Officer and co-founder of Savage Race. What makes Savage Race different than your competitors? We have the biggest and best obstacles in the business, and we also strive to have the best customer experience in the business. Any top three reasons? to come and run a Savage Race in 2015. If you haven't run Savage Race and you love obstacle course racing, you need to come see what you're missing. Because we may be slightly biased, but we say we put on the best show there is. Um, we have the best obstacles, the best ratings with customer experience, and it's just an awesome, fun, well-rounded race. Every, you know, it's like this big, huge family of like thousands of people coming out, doing some kind of physical activity, and then just, you know, sitting back, relaxing, watching the others finish, just having a good time. I, mean, it's, I can't think of a better Saturday. Tell me about how you guys got started in obstacle racing. It's not necessarily something that most people just say, hey, I want to start an obstacle race series. So how did this all come about? Well, in 2011, Lloyd and I were already looking to start a business together. And then obstacle racing came on the scene. And we saw what was going on in obstacle course racing. And we said, we can do this a lot better. We both are, we're construction industry professionals, and so we said, let's put our heads together and come up with the best obstacles in the business. And the way we got started was, Lloyd was basically driving down from, from Gainesville to live on my couch in Orlando. And we went out and we were, you know, we didn't have the team that we have now to build all these obstacles. We didn't have the designers and, and all the carpenters that we have now. It was just the two of us out there building the obstacles. It took us six months to build our first course, just, just us. Talk to me about if it's my first, second, third race. Can I still do Savage Race? Sure, and I think most people who run Savage Race are not the elites. I mean, we, you know, this weekend, for example, we'll have 10,000 runners, and 500 of them will be in the elite wave. So uh, the, the open waves allow you to, you know, you can push yourself as hard as you want to. You can push your team as hard as as you can, and, and we certainly encourage that. But then, you know, we also see some folks in, in the open waves who are walking the course and who are you know walking around some of the obstacles and that's okay with us um it's you know we, we build these courses so that you can push yourself as hard as you can as hard as you want to but if you want to come out here and uh and and walk the course and and do do, do the obstacles that you want to attempt then that's fine with us too also gives them something to you know plan for the future to try and you know come back and complete you know maybe they didn't get it this time but now they they see something that hey next time i'm going to I'm going to get salty with you. I'm going to make it up to losses. So it's, I mean, anyone can come out and do it. And sure, they may leave a little bit of frustration on a few obstacles, but that drives them to go work out, challenge themselves a little bit, come back and get it next time. Tell me about the kids' race. Sure. So when we first started, we didn't have a kids' race. And that was one of the things that people would email us about all the time. They said, you know, we're coming out here. Our kids want to run. Can you please provide something for them? And Finally, we caved and we did it, and it was a great decision because uh, that that race has grown. I think our first kids race, we might have had five kids, and now, you know, it may be 500, and uh, you know, we build them their own obstacles and everything else. And so, it's it's a great way to get the kids involved. I think it also gets them excited for, you know, as they get older, they can run in the big in, in the big savage race. And uh, so, I, th I just think it's good for the sport to get you know the kids involved as early as possible.
bag, yep. and it is a wearable sleeping bag. And just before we started this interview, we were talking about world's toughest mutter and sandstorms, and how this would have been what you wanted a couple months ago. But uh, I'll let you tell us a little bit more about your product. Yeah, for sure. Hi, I'm Cristobal. Uh, Selfbag is a Chilean-based company. We started in 2006. And basically, what it is is a it's a sleeping bag that you can wear. So it have a lot of features. We have a different model for different uses and uh, for a different rating temperatures. But the basic thing about you know uh, the, the cell bag is about having fun. You know, you can use it at in at outdoors. Obviously, when you camp, or car camping, RVing, whatever. But also, you can use it indoors. You know, just lounging, gaming, or having fun. You know, and that, that's one of the cool things about the cell uh, model. It have kangaroo pockets. Um, it have leg fence if you are a little bit you know hot about it. And the cool thing about all our models is that you have detachable booties, so you can detach the booties and you can use your own shoes, you know, and, and, and go around whatever you want. So it gives a lot of versatility about the bag. So again, if you are camping, you can go out and grab some you know wood for the fireplace. And if you are in the, at home, you just can lounge and go around and you know. Whatever you want. We just launched it two months ago, uh, our Disney Marvel uh, product uh, that you uh, can see over there, you know. Uh, so we have four heroes. We have Spider-Man, Iron Man, Captain America, and Hulk. And it has been a success. Where can I find the bags? Uh -huh. And um, the next, how much do they retail? Okay. Uh, you can find it on our webpage, sellbagusa.com. And uh, we start at $99. We go up to $199. And the uh, Marvel bag is one forty nine. Uh, thank, thank you, you. For, for showing us, and uh, I definitely want to get one of these to go. Around.